What's up guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you guys how to stream from your PlayStation 4 to YouTube Gaming and Twitch at the same time. I'm going to try to be the most brief possible but with all the information needed. So if you guys have any question, please leave it on the comment below and I will try to reply you as fast as I can. And if the video gets too long, just add it to watch it later and you can pick up where you left off. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you must have, of course, is a computer, a PlayStation 4, and an internet connection. I know this is pretty obvious, but I'm trying to give everything, all the information that you need. To do this, your internet connection must be good. You really must have a, a LAN cable connected to this. So you must have a LAN cable to your computer and a LAN cable to your PlayStation 4. You can do this wireless, but your wireless has to be really, really strong, okay? So, that in mind, let's jump right into it. So, there are three main programs that you're going to need to do this. So, that's PlayStation 4 Remote Play, OBS Studio, and a Restream Chat. If you don't know what a Restream Chat is, I will tell you later. That's, that's going to be the, the last thing here. So, first things first. The first thing you're going to need here is PlayStation 4 Remote Play. So, what is this? This has nothing to do with PlayStation Beats, okay? What, the, what this does is, uh, it allows you to play your PlayStation 4 on your computer. So imagine that someone is watching television, you only have one television, so you can open this, play on your computer, and so you can game PlayStation 4 on your computer, and someone else is watching the television, and you're both happy. So how to do this? Just go to Google. Like I said, I'm trying to give everything like the basics here. So go to Google, just type PlayStation 4 Remote Play. Okay, there it is, first link, click on it, and then download it for Mac or Windows, nothing really special about that, after that, install it, and you'll have this icon. Now, this is important, before opening this application, you must have your PlayStation 4 already turned on, and you must have uh, already in the main menu, so when you turn off the PlayStation, then you have to choose the account, choose the account that you wish to play on, and leave it, let it stay. Because so right now, your PlayStation 4 is on the main menu. After that, then, you have to plug your PlayStation 4 controller to your computer. So just pick up the USB cable, put it on your computer, and boom, it's done, okay? After that is done, you're going to click and open your program. So at this point, remember that I already have my PlayStation 4 opened on the menu, and my controller is already plugged into the computer. So at this point, just place, you can just press options on your PlayStation 4 controller like I just did. And you will see, boom. So right now, this is the window from my PlayStation 4. So as you can see over here, I see a black spot on OBS. I don't know if you guys are watching that, but let me just try to get that out of the way. Let me see, is it this one? Well, I'll just, just forget about that black spot. I don't know what that is. Let me just probably just put it like that. Okay, much better. All right, so at this point, we have our PlayStation 4 on the computer. So as you can see, I'm switching on the controls. There's no lag at all, all right? So this is going to be really important. So uh, after doing this, just let it be, okay? Just minimize and let it be. So the next thing you're going to need here is OBS Studio. So OBS is the program that will actually... Um, records what's going on on the remote play uh, window right so how to do this go to google again just type obs studio what the hell obs studio there open there it is open broadcast software and just download the one that you want via torrent zip whatever so i have the 64 bits so after that installs you're gonna end up with this icon just click on it i've already clicked it on this open i'm recording with obs so right now what's gonna happen this is my obs right now so this obs is going to stream or to record what's on this channel so basically i'm gonna put it side by side so you can probably see better to understand so this channel here over here this is what's gonna put this up there so you can do everything here, like for example, I have no cam, I'm just going to turn on the cam here, I think it's the video capture device. So boom, you see, there's me, hello! So everything here, this is where you put your layouts, I'll probably do that on another video explaining if you guys want. 
but as you can see you can put all the layouts here that like i have so right now i'm just like i have nothing because i'm explaining so what you have to do here now is you have to put obs studio capturing the 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 playstation 4 um, gameplay so how to do that i'm recording so i don't know if i can create new ones without interfering with the the recording so basically what you have to do here after this is done you have to press on this plus here so you have to press on this plus right you have to go on window capture just put it i don't know playstation 4 i don't know if this is going to kind of ruin the recording but let's give it a try playstation 4 youtube tutorial okay let's press okay and you see over there it says playstation 4 remote play i, I don't know if it's still recording but it says playstation 4 remote play and once you do that boom you see your ubs right now is recording the playstation 4 if i if i click ok right now it will just only this will appear okay so right now i have my playstation 4 as you can see um touching on my playstation 4 oh i'm touching it and it's working perfectly so don't don't forget that you really have to have a good internet connection for this okay uh, so that's how you put your position for on obs okay only thing you have to do is go here like i said window capture choose your remote play and boom it's done then you just have to play with the layouts okay like over here you just have to play with this like resize this and everything i think like i didn't press okay but there it is you see they have two windows there this one over here is this one this is my obs studio and this is actually my playstation 4 stream um, window okay so i can do this and be streaming right now but i don't want to do that right now so let me try to take that out because it seems like it really captured okay it seems like it did capture so let's just take this out of here for a second up there and then i'll choose that everything don't worry about that so you have your stream window working then you have to work with the settings okay i can show you my settings i can probably do that in another video more details so what you have to do you have to put your key here i'm going to explain that later in, in this video then you have to put uh, your stream settings so it really depends on your bitrate your internet connection everything but i was i can do i can do this really fast okay so what you have to do here put two on the keyframe don't ask why just put two trust me uh over here unless you have a beast beast cpu just leave it on very fast it does the work good uh up down here put two also and the boot rate really depends on your internet connection okay so if you have like example 100 megabytes of downloads you can put at maximum 1000 of bit rates but it's not uh, advisable to put on the maximum always put lower so if you have like 50 megabytes of download put it on 30 you no know, 300 3000 350 probably i have 1000 100 of download that's why i keep it on 7000 okay it's not in the maximum but it's really good okay but <clears throat> this is all like the basic thing you have to do here put to uh, x64 just follow the steps here but i can do that i can do like a details on all this works i'm just trying to show you how to put this working on obs and on uh, on twitch and on youtube gaming all right so let's just close that let's minimize this okay so after that uh we so we have our playstation 4 on our obs already working and now we want to connect this to to youtube gaming and twitch right so there is a website and that's it's called restream i don't know if you guys know it but if you know it let's click on restream and on this channel you have to log in sign up and all that shit and once that's done what you got to do here uh, you need to uh, you will have to add right you'll have to over here let's see add channel so there are like many many channels that you can add i never know there are like so many channels to be honest but what we want we want twitch and we want youtube gaming right so that's what we want so you add twitch add youtube over here and once that's done you're gonna have your two right youtube and twitch so you can see i'm online on tube but i'm not online on twitch to do that just click 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 okay and right now i am uh, <coughs> synchronized with youtube and twitch so what you got to do here next this is the important thing also this is the restream key okay 
So to stream from these, from the Restream, you have to choose one of their servers. So in my case, because I live in Portugal, Lisbon, I'm going to choose the one ne nearest to me, and that's uh, Madrid, Spain. So that's why I choose that one. You pick up the key over here, okay? I'm not going to show you the key because you can do everything if you have the, ch the key. And you're going to put that on OBS. So back to OBS over here. What you're going to do is go to settings, go to stream. And as you can see here, I have put in here, you can put like, if you put streaming services, you can choose directly from Twitch TV or YouTube gaming and it'll, it'll, it will stream directly. All you have to do is put in the stream key that YouTube and Twitch offers you on your channel. You just have to find it. It's really it's not that hard. And because I'm doing custom, I'm doing, I'm going for custom. I'm putting the URL, it's over there, right? The link that they gave me. And I'm putting the stream key that they are read, that also they gave me over here. So once that's done, it means that I am streaming right now from Restream, okay? So what happens is when I start streaming at this point, when I start streaming, I am streaming directly to YouTube and Twitch. So if I start, if I click here right now, start streaming, I'll be streaming on YouTube Gaming and on Twitch. And there's another issue with this. Uh, the issue is like me, I'm, I like to interact a lot a lot with my uh, subscribers and viewers so i really like to know what's going on with the sheds and if i'm streaming on youtube and twitch i mean it means that i will have to have two windows open checking the two sheds checking the two streams uh i like i, I can basically i cannot game because i have to pay so much attention to the sheds that i cannot do anything so that's where this restream program comes really good so over here you can see sheds over here if you click on this you're gonna put in an app so you can see download app what this does it's only for windows by the way but anyway <laughs> who streams for apple right for mac so <laughs> we have to go over here and as you can see here it is restream sheds so what does this do basically this puts all of your sheds streams in one place okay so if I start streaming right now, uh, you can see that um, I will have people on Twitch and on YouTube gaming talking on the streams and everything will be here on this one. So I'm not online, I'm not streaming right now, so that's because I'm not online, but as you can see, Twitch and YouTube are both connected and all the sheds will appear here. And this, is, this has a really cool feature also that for people who stream on PlayStation 4, you probably know that you have that option where this, this lady um, speaks the comments, reads the comments, and this you, this restream chat also has that. So it really allows me to. So what's the benefit of this? Like I can be gaming, I can hear what people are saying, right? And I don't I don't need to to look unless I want unless I don't understand anything or unless I want to know who said what. I don't really need to look to the chat because the lady is talking. I'm hearing it and I'm just replying to the viewers and subscribers, okay? So that's really cool. And that's basically it, guys. You, you, you see like what? That's that's it? That's it, okay? This is the basics for you to stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, okay? So let's just do a quick recap. To do this, you need to have your PlayStation 4 remote play. Always remember this is really important. Okay, do this. You have to have this. Remember to have your PlayStation 4 already uh, on and your on your main menu right here where I am. After that, plug your uh, PlayStation 4 controller to your computer uh, for EB uh, via the cable uh, USB. After that, open the remote play, go to your US Studio, click on this plus window capture device, go and find your uh, PlayStation 4 remote play like we did before. Um, and after that, go to restream sites, go to restream sites, go to dashboards, add your channel to the two here, choose your, your, your key closest to you, your best server, go to settings, go to stream, put the settings up there. Um, then on the, the, on the output settings, you can, I talk it very, uh, fast, but you can talk about on that other video. I don't want to put this one too long. Um. But if it works like that, cool guys, and you're done.
this clock starts streaming and you'll be right streaming right from the spot of course then you have to put your thumbnails your layers your all that your camera settings all that but we can do that on another day another a video if you want me to do it just comment below like do a video from settings obs or do a video about uh, how to put layouts layers anything like that um, this is just how to stream on both so this is how you stream okay guys i really hope i was very very helpful uh, it took me a long time to discover all of this because all information is kind of um, dispersed around YouTube. One says this, then another one says this, then you have to do this. Oh, it doesn't work. You have to go th back there and do this. So uh, I had to kind of discover all of this by my own, so to speak. So um, if you, I hope you, I hope I really helped you guys. And if you guys have any questions, please comment below your question. I will try to help you. And if you want another video of the settings on the layouts, please comment below also. Hope this was really helpful. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll say, oh, someone is going to talk to me. And I, I stream a lot also. So if you guys like my vibe here, uh, my I have awesome subscribers. Just come, just subscribe, turn on the notification button. You'll know when I'm streaming, and you'll know when I upload more videos. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Really helps. Really, I really think I to help you guys. And I'll see you guys next time on my stream and my video peace out guys have a good one